Hi guys, this is China Stuff Review with another review. This time of the Adidas Jeremy Scott winged shoes. I ordered them from uh, exportclothes.com. Took a while to get here and they are in a pretty beat up box I must say. Unfortunately I had to pay the customs $30 because of uh, import taxes and uh, administration costs and whatnot. And that's because probably the package was valued at $16 and the description of the of the content was uh, in Chinese. Would have been better if it was $30 and it would just have said sporting shoes or whatever. Because now um, it costed me another $30 to get here and uh, that's a shame of course. So uh, this was this is what it, what was in the box. Pretty banged up Adidas box, but it says uh, wings two size seven and a half U.S. size. They're for uh, someone else, not for me. That's why the size is small. And here they are. They look good. I'm pretty uh, pretty glad that the customs didn't open the package and uh, saw that it was Adidas shoes in there. Because these aren't originals, these are replicas. If uh, if you're like me, you don't mind paying someone a, re a normal price for a pair of shoes and then they're replicas or you pay some outrageous price on eBay because they were limited quantity, whatever, whatever. They should have made uh, more of them and just sold them at the regular stores to prevent that. But how the hell, these are replicas, but um, don't really matter. They look good, the quality is good, the sole looks pretty good. I will unpack them and uh, show some details. So here they are, both of them. Uh, if you look at this one here, it even has the tags on it, which uh, say which size they are. And they have a Adidas label and everything. And here you see Jeremy Scott, Adidas right here, Jeremy Scott right here, but uh, that it's Jeremy Scott is pretty obvious if you look at the wings on the back. They have uh, laces here as well, and uh, this is the tongue, nice detail. The only thing I notice is that this logo is crooked on this one and on the left one as well but in a slightly different way so uh, if you're really really keen on details this is a detail that's uh, that's not really good but uh, it doesn't really matter the sole again logo the wings are pretty uh, pretty well made they're embroidered well there is no glue residue on the on the edges anywhere. What I notice is that there is a little bit blue right here. And also on the other shoe here. That is probably because of the, the blue lining inside of the box. And um, if I look at the box, it probably got wet or something. So uh, it has some blue here as well. So there's something with the blue on the box and the blue on the shoes, but it doesn't really matter. We'll come off, I'm pretty sure. So here they are. I bought these from uh, exportclothes.com. They have a slightly weird way of doing business. You uh, add them on uh, MSN Messenger, and then you can uh, can show a picture of the the product you want from their website. They have a Picasa account with lots of photos of uh, products on there and um, then what you do is you say uh, well look I want to have these these shoes and you, you send them the pictures and you explain what size you want and then they will give you a price um, excluding shipping so most people like me ask so what's the price including shipping then you'll get a price with shipping included uh, you pay with PayPal but uh, yeah so that's good but it's a slightly different way than uh, let's say eBay or something. 
They used to be on eBay called uh, Supper Footwear Store, but uh, because they sell replicas, eBay uh, cancelled their account and uh, they're not there anymore. This package you uh, took like four weeks to get here, one week longer because of uh, because of the customs, and uh, that's a uh, yeah that, that that's a big minus for me. I mean, I paid. 78 if I remember correctly, I don't really remember anymore and 78 dollars for the shoes and then 30 for uh, For the customs, which is a lot That's mostly because uh, the box Look at here the box It said 16 dollars and with such a big box. It's obvious that the customs will pick this one out and uh, Yeah, not, not let it through if it said $30 and content shoes, it probably would have gone through. I'm pretty glad that they didn't open the, um, the box because uh, I got a letter in which I had to uh, explain the content and uh, tell them if it was a gift or not. So, uh, well, it was described as a gift. So I, uh, I told the customs it was a gift and that the value was $34 and uh, that the shipping was $34. The shipping was $34 actually. But the value of the shoes was uh, was ten dollars more, of course. But um, I, I I did that to keep the costs down of the of the customs, but still give them the idea that that it was the value of the shoes. But I'm glad they didn't open it because thirty four dollars for a pair of Adidas shoes is way too cheap, of course. This is my review on the shoes. Uh, what can I say? I'll I'll give them four and a half A's A's out of five. Because uh, they're good, but uh, the only thing on the, that's the lining on the tongue that's not really good. That's the only problem I have with them. The sole is good. If uh, anyone knows how to spot the difference between uh, genuine ones and uh, replicas, please let me know. The only thing I've seen now is the, the crooked logo. Another detail here is the... Jeremy thing on the laces, I forgot to mention. So uh, this was a China Stop review with a review of the Adidas Jeremy Scott 2.0 wing shoes.